moved into my NAV database, okay? And, and specifically what I want to look at is the bill of material. So I want to be able to check material availability, maybe simulate when material is available to make a certain item or to, to complete a demand on a production order. I want to see what that when that could be moved to when I don't have enough material. And then I want to be able to maybe shift a production order to meet an earlier demand date uh, if necessary. Okay, so that's the background of, of what we're doing here from NAV. We're going to look at the bill of material, but I'm going to go right into the visual production scheduler as this is a higher level um, webinar. So the expectation would be that you've understood a little bit about the visual production scheduler already. If you haven't, I've done previous webinars, but you can also just reach out to me and I'm happy to give you some introductory information. So if I open up the VPS, okay, obviously you see the standard NAV page. And um, what I wanted to look at specifically is here, if I open up a production order. Okay, so obviously as you guys know, we have here a production order line. This one in this case has seven operations. Okay, we have the intended completion date, so the due date there on the right hand side, which in this case is going to be the 2nd of February. Right? And the question often comes up and you know, what will I do with regards to material availability or how can I how can I view or look at my material availability? So for those of you that already have the VPS or are considering using it, if I do a double or a right click, excuse me, on any of the operations here inside of the VPS, okay, I get this drop down menu and you'll see here uh, kind of the fifth option down is going to be show item availability by the bill of material level. Okay, so when I click on this, what's going to happen is we're going to open up a visualized bomb or bill of material, right? So I'm just going to expand all, right? Okay, and actually, let me see here, actually, move up here for a second. I think that wasn't the example I wanted. Um, yeah, let's see here. Uh, bear with me one second. My uh, my demo data changed a little bit. All right. So I've just opened up the visualized bill of material, and you can see it's kind of a tree chart here. It drops down. It can go down to 50 levels, which can, uh, in this case, mine's pretty simplified. But basically, what I'm looking at is I have a demand date. I have a PO quantity necessary. So in this case, it's 30. I have an available quantity, so an available inventory already. Okay, and I can see from which of my underlying items I need to create this parent item, so this top level of the bicycle, right? And let's say in the case that you had a certain amount not needed, you can see that if you had more required from the PO quantity than you didn't have uh, available, you would have this red indication for that, right? So also, what I want to look at is here, let's say on this Wednesday is my my demand date. If I wanted to maybe, or if a customer calls and asks, can I have this earlier? Or if I wanted to simulate whether or not the material was there at an earlier time, what I can actually do is, I don't know if you saw this, but I can, if I, if I select different dates, so in this case, change the demand date here in the, in the drop-down calendar, if you look at my bill of material, I'll make this bigger so you can see. If you look at my bill of material, it's actually going to change. If I select this date and click into the white, it's going to update based off the bill of material from NAV. Okay. So based off when my bill of material, uh, based off my bill of material and based off my demand date and what's needed, I can shift this around and simulate this. I'm not actually changing anything in NAV. All right. And then if I say, okay, great, I know that I have enough material now to meet this new demand date. What I can then do is I can assign this new demand date and close this. 
And when I do this, what's going to happen is it's going to uh, update in the scheduler as a result as well. Okay. So that's just a matter of, like I said, double clicking, showing the item availability by the bill of material level. Okay. We can look at the bill of material and come in here. We can select a new, a new demand date. We can assign this new demand date and close it. And you can see that my production order line is therefore going to shift to an earlier point in the schedule. Okay. And then as you guys know already from this red border that I've now made a change in the schedule, but I've not yet saved that change back into NAV, which is why I have this red border. Okay. And if I want to, I can come up here and save that data. I can also say, okay, you know what? I just wanted to try that out, see what impact it would have. So I can then reload the data and not save the changes made in the production schedule as well. All right. So that's how we can visualize bill of material inside of the visual production scheduler.